Eagle Eye Football here, Crystal Palace 1, Brighton 1. Joined here with the chairman. Thoughts on the game? Um, I thought it was quite an even first half, really. We got we got in front, probably touch against the run of play, but I don't think Brighton did too much first half. But they did dominate the midfield. I mean, second half, they made a change. First 10 minutes, I thought we was actually doing really well. And they seemed to alter their formation, really, to 4-3-3. Three, three, and they started passing through our, started passing through our midfield. Um, and really and truly, it was only a matter of time before they scored. They probably missed two or three great chances before that. I mean, big probably turning point in the game was the shot, the chance from Eze when he was cleaning the box. That had made it 2-0. Don't think they would have come back from that, but probably fair result in the end. Do you think that potentially it's two points lost or definitely a point game when looking at his run of fixtures? Um, I think before the, the game kicked off and, and you know the way things have been panning out this year, um, I would have said I would have, I would have taken a point before the start of the game. No question about it. But when you're um, cheers, mate. But when you're uh, <laughs> but when you're leading for 80 odd minutes, one nil, you know, and got to be hanging on, isn't it? Really, and them sort of games are just. You've got to learn to win 1-0 sometimes, isn't it? It's a dirty win, but you've got to learn to do it, and then you'll pick the points up. So, for leading that amount of time, I'm disappointed we didn't get the three points, but I'm happy with the point. Could have easily lost it, couldn't we? So. With, with Hodgson today and his substitutions, are there any ones that you maybe disagree with? No, not really, no. Ozo was, was the right call. I think Eze was the right call. It's just the fact that maybe he wasn't fit but the job that he brought Eze on to do he didn't actually do and that was really just to get up the field wasn't it to get the ball and go forward but he didn't actually do it and he did give the ball away a hell of a lot didn't he so um, and of course he was not I say a fault for the goal but he was culpable wasn't he because he, he got the ball and he just instead of going forward or just kicking it long he just literally popped it straight back in the box when they recycled it and that's how the goal came about so that's a bit disappointing but I mean no, I mean, it, I mean, I, I think it was a sensible move because he's a season pro, isn't he? I mean, he bung French for in a game like that. Um, he's just got to run. He's not going to really have a clue what's going on. But um, it just didn't work out, did it? And again, he bunged Ozo in and he didn't look out of place, did he? No, no, but Ozo is a different kettle of fish, isn't it? Ozo is going to play a defensive midfield role. He's, he hasn't got to do too much. Basically, break their play up. But Francia came on, would expect him to go forward and create chances. But I don't think we really created... Apart from I use, I use sorry, Eze's one chance, um, we didn't create nothing. I mean, maybe, maybe I really should have stayed on because he is strong. He does win the ball, and maybe he had it was he had a small injury. I don't know. Maybe it was tight. I don't know really. Who's your man of match today? Well, it wasn't Anderson, was it? Who's <laughs> <laughs> um, my man of the match today? H Hendinho, no. Hendinho. <laughs> uh, I think I think it was a lot of okay performance. I don't think none was massively outstanding. Um, I'll probably give it to Lise because he really tried hard. He ran the channels a lot and he really sort of pulled pulled Brighton apart and pushed us up the field. It's just the fact that every time we got into good positions, we had just really no one in the box in it. No, I'll give it to Lise. Chairman at the Palace. Always at the Palace.